Welcome back to another video. This video here is a answer to a request from one of the students. Her name is Mariam. Um, and before I answer her question, I just wanted to point out that I will be creating more videos um, as per requested from students. Um, the request is to have um, some quizzes or some information to help with the certification. So what I'm thinking about, instead of having a quiz after each um, each chapter or module, what I was thinking about doing is just creating a video to kind of explain a hands-on approach to some of the courses that you will probably encounter, well, that you will encounter on the certification for UiPath. Um, the reason why I chose this path is because you can read a quiz and you can take a quiz and you can answer the quiz, but you still won't know. And the objective for this course, my main thing is to have the hands-on experience because I do not want you to go into the workforce with a certification and no experience or not knowing how how to do it I've seen I've seen this dozen of times where we get developers to come in and they have certifications they know the theory behind um, you know RPA but they do not have the hands-on experience and they end up failing and it just costs a lot of problems it just causes a lot lot of problems between the business and the developer and it just makes everyone looks bad so instead of just having you go through quizzes, I, I'm taking the approach to taking some of those um, things that you will see on the exam and just go over them hands on. So throughout the months or weeks or whatever it is, I will be uploading more and more videos as um, as as a bonus to help you get ready for the certification. Now, bear in mind, I do have um you know other things on my plate i am trying to finish with the blue prism course so uh, I, I would i will upload these as soon as possible but just have patience with me and just know that i will always continue to try to improve this course and if you have any comments please uh feel free to leave those responses those comments i i do read those and whether they negative or positive, I read them all and I try to improve the course based on that feedback. So Miriam's question was, how do we, well, let me just read it. Hi, Michael. I need to understand more email automation. She would like to read the email content, which is the body. Uh, she would like to add email content, and that's uh, that's that's kind of curious. But what I think she means is that once she reads the body from the email, she would like to be able to concatenate that with other information. So I will show that she would like to save the email content to a Word or an Excel file, and that's easy done as well. And then she would like to forward the email if it con contains the Word test. So those are the things that I will go over in this video. Um, so let's get started. First thing we want to do is create our Outlook. Um, so I'm just going to type in mail. Oh, sorry. Go to activity. Go to mail. And we're going to use Outlook. And if you have something else that you like to use, feel free to use that. Now I kind of prepared an email um, and this is the email that I'm going to read. It has the word test because that's one of the things that she wanted to have. She wanted to be able to read an email body and then if it contains the word test then forward that and then she also wanted to save it to an Excel um, and we're going to do that. So get our Outlook and then the account that I'm going to use is my Michael Tyska at Gmail account. Now, if you, if you have watched the other tutorials, you 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 should notice that my emails have changed. I had to get a new new computer, so I had to add a new email account and start over from scratch. So, no no worries. If you just want to type the name of your account in, let me open it up so you can see it better. So you put the name of the account and then you want to put the folder that you would like to read. So in my case, I have this folder called Udemy. 
and I'm just gonna type that in here replace the inbox with Udemy then now uh, th there's only one email in there but you again you can con you can control how many you would like to read uh, by coming here you want to give this a name so I'm gonna say Outlook messages and it's gonna be a, this variable inside of here remember uh, it's a list or a collection of mail objects so now we like to come and search for our for loop and all of this should be familiar well, we went over it in other videos want to give our mail message we want to come here and change this to system.net.mail come in and get our is it at mail message there we go <clears throat> Now the the first thing again I just want to do is uh, get a box just so we can make sure that we're reading the correct email. Then we want to use item dot and so the first thing that she want to do is read the body of that. So we're going to choose the body, and you don't have to put dot two string, but I am. I I, I I think you do have to put dot two string. I'm not I'm not sure just do it anyways just to be safe and then we're going to read that oh we have to come here and unselect only unread that's that was the problem so unselect this because well if you you want to have it as read only ones that's unread you can but in my case it's already marked as read there, there we go so now this is how you would get the body and now from here you can just do a search on this body to see if this contains the word test Then so the next thing we want to do since we have our body, um, her condition was if it contains the word test. So uh, let's do it if. And we can just copy this from here. Just say contains. And we can now, of course, the best practice would have this as a variable, have this word test as a variable that you can change dynamically. But just for this um, demo purposes, I'm just going to type it in. And now if it does, let's go do another box. Say true. And one is false. Now, this should return true right because we know that this body does have it so let's read it this is our body and it has the word test so it should throw back a true and it does so Miriam that is how you would check to see if if the body contains the word test now to um, to save this as a word is just very simple because you already have this body as a string text so you can write this to an Excel you can you well you can add it to a data table you can write it to a word you can write it to whatever form you want it as now that you know how to actually get it um, the other thing is if you want to forward there's no and uh, let me just go through and see so under Outlook there is no forward but there is a send so now that we got this email all we have to do is just get the um the name of this the sender <clears throat> i'm sorry get get the name of the subject 
in the body and then we can just send it to whomever it is that we like like to send it to and then inside of that subject um if you want to trick it you know like to make it say forward whenever you send the subject you can just add the word forward so let me just kind of show you real quick okay so what we can do is come underneath here and send for each but not within if yep and then of course this will be a variable should should be a variable but I'm just gonna hard code it in then we use this this is how we can you know uh, make it look like it was actually forward because if you look at a forward e email it usually uh, it will it has the forward little um, prefix on there now we can say item subject now we have our subject and then we can just say item and let me just go ahead and make it a string and that's how we can forward this so <clears throat> you know what honestly we would need to actually need to put this inside of here the true only if it contains this word test so now let's run it and give it a try and we should see our email come up inside of my inbox and I actually don't running I think I ran it Okay, so we just got the forward test subject. And if we go to my email, yep, it is right here. And it has the forward test subject. So that is how that works. Um, if um, I'm hoping this was helpful, Miriam, um, if you have any other questions, please feel free to re reach out to me. And if anyone else has any questions, please feel free to reach out to me and just know that I will be posting more videos. I will be trying to improve this course as much as possible. Uh, so just be patient and thanks every thank everyone for their support, their feedback and Again, if you would like to join our RPA um, group meetings, um, just send me an email and I can add you to the group. So again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.